Is that a knife? It's my pretty pink pocket knife. Now give me some money to help calm me down. I don't have enough. That's a shame. You showed some promise. Hello, everybody. Grace Steel Blazer. We're back with more Kindergarten. The game where you don't want to mess with your cheating whore girlfriend because the last person that did had their head bit off. Literally bit off. That's the thing I love about this game. Just when I think I've seen the strangest things it has to offer, it goes one step further. So today, I think we're pretty much going to get the last few cards. I'm pretty sure anyway. I don't know how much money to bring, so I'm going to bring $2 because I feel like it. I'm, I'm rolling in it, baby. I'm a, I'm a five-year-old rolling in the dough. I can make as much money as I want selling drugs and all passes, just like every kindergartner. So I'm not worried about it. So we've got four cards left. We've got like the long arm of the law or something. And um, what was the other one called? Doom Jelly? I don't know. There's a couple. Oh, as well, I think the developer is getting ready to release the full version, which is going to allow us to do a couple of new things, including, should we go to the hints area? Including this stuff. After collecting all 25 cards, you get to unlock that special item. And then this other thing over here, bringing the item to the Nugget Cave can cause qu some things to happen. I love how non-specific it is. It's just going to cause some things. Like, you know, the end of the world. I'm going to take this note. I always like bringing this note. I don't know why. We're out of time, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. So here we are. On the old playground before school's about to start. Now, I think there's a couple of ones that we have to do for Jerome. I don't know if we could do them all at the same time, though. That's the big question. Uh, we're not cool enough. Okay. So, one of the things that we're going to want to do is to buy the yo-yo up real quick so that we can kind of get on his good side. Because I think that we need it. I think we could also just ask to use the bathroom. Maybe we'll try that. Not 100% sure if we could do that, but I think we can. Now, we don't want to do Cindy's thing because the Doom Jelly, uh, we have to put the, the gum in poor Lily's hair at lunch. And I don't think that we have to interact with her before then. So, I think I'm just going to cash in my, my, my apples here and get done. You can also do the nugget thing where you go and get pills and everything, which is fine as well. But I think I'm going to be spending all my actions right now to go and try to do the card in the janitor's area in the bathroom. Let's try that right now. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I know. I want to use the bathroom, lady. Jesus. Just get one time. One time. You giant breasted hoe. Thank you. Give me the bathroom pass. Jeez. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Now, we got to deal with this guy. He's got his... You know what? It's funny, too. He's got, like, the crossing guard stripe on him. That thing was legit. Like, that actually... <laughs> back when I was in elementary school, this was a thing. Like, kids actually wore that. The hall monitors. I don't know if that still happens or what. All right. So now we have to get this jerk to go over here and start cleaning the toilet. And then I think we have to get the middle one over here. So let's go ahead and do this. We kind of have to go through this here. What's going on? Hee <laughs> hee. That's so strange. What's in the bags? I don't see no bags. You're kidding, right? Oh, these bags. Nothing for you to worry your stupid little head about. Now run along. All right. We are going to run along, but we want him to go clean the toilet over here. So let's go check this toilet out. The gross, disgusting toilet. Again, I, I don't want to know what sort of bodily fluids have been sprayed wildly from the uh, the reproductive organs of various... Well, not various people. It was this guy that did it. Run along. Oh, dude. Can I use the... All right, hold on here. Let's try this. Let's try this. All right, now. Now can I get you to go clean the freaking toilets? Clean the toilets! No, I want you to clean the toilet, you hoe. Uh, get at least, how did, the, how did that, hold on. How did that judgment get, what's that got to do with the bleeding? Quite a bit, actually, if you catch my drift. Catch the janitor's drift. All right, can I just reach in here and do this? Hey, don't you go mess around with those bags. Okay, sorry. Damn it, janitor, do your job. The toilet, man, that's all I want. We're going to have to reset this, aren't we? We're going to have to reset the room. I'm pretty sure we are. All right, janitor, it's time to put a bro before a hoe over here. You go ahead and check out the toilet. All right, there we go. I'm going to click on all these just to make doubly sure that we go ahead. To I'm still curious who the hell is in this bathroom because they're in there literally all day. Actually, both these people are in there all day. All day. All day long. What's going on there, boy? The toilet. There we go. That's what I want to do. Who do you think messed it up in the first place? All right, not if I don't have to. I get paid by the hour, not by the toilet. That's 
that's the exact, that is the exact attitude I love to see from the employees of an educational facility. All the other ones are taken, I'll take care of it. Good, yes. Do your stupid job. You know what to do. Get your $10 an hour or whatever. Actually, that's probably a little bit more than he makes. All right. Yes. All right, we got the Monster Mon card. It says that there's only enough time to grab one item. Toilet's clean. Now leave me to my business. Now what happens if we don't leave him to his business? Uh, okay, I guess I have to leave him to his business. Is there another thing over here? Oh, there is not. Okay. I thought maybe there would be something else in this one over here. All right. So we managed to get one of the Monster Mon cards. Let's go get the hell out of here. Don't worry, I'm heading back to class there, buddy. Yeah, I'm not messing around. You know how it is. You're back. We didn't- don't you worry about it. We didn't get anything. Go back to your morning time. Man, one apple left. What am I supposed to do with one apple? Um, actually, I don't think I can do anything with one apple. I can trade it in for some money. I don't think I can do anything really with Cindy. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me ask. Spending it with a boyfriend. I'm just kind of checking around here. Nugget, how do you feel about this? Nugget does not wish to spend time with you. Ways of Nugget, perhaps you could, you could be of some use. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm not getting your item. You can go to hell all about that. Lily... I don't think that there's really anything impressive for her. No, there's not. So, are you just gonna tell me to find a buddy or I'm gonna be a sad, pathetic outcast? Yep, uh, that's exactly what she's gonna say. All right, spend the last apple. Whoa, blam blam $3.50, let's go to lunch. And once there, we're gonna take care of the Doom Jelly. Uh, we could also get, what was it called? Fapton Kalkin, I think it is. I think it's, yeah, Fapton Kalkin. I, I don't think we have that one yet, but we're gonna go to lunch. <laughs> To do the freaking, to do the freaking gum in the hair. All right. Sorry, sweetie. Ugly Lily, ugly Lily. Why don't you do me a little favor? Like what? If I give you this piece of gum, would you put it in her hair? I'll make it worth your while. Bonus points if you can do it and come back to me before lunch is over. You got it. Come see me when it's done. Don't you worry your head. All right, so Lily's gonna run on out, which means now I have to get the hell out of here one way or the other. Um, let's see here. I think we can get him messed up. Uh, I don't want anything from you, but I do want to tell the janitor that you are a scumbag. Let's see, you spelled biscuit wrong. Now that is going to use one of our precious apples. Kill the dweeb in the glasses. His, his glasses are the only thing that can fuel my ability to get out of this godforsaken cafeteria with its dirty, whore-like slop that gets served at all hours of the day. I've never thought about it, but I wonder if this blood stays on the janitor for the rest of the day. Yes, it's a shameful display. It's a shameful display. Give me the glasses. All right. Now then, dirty nerd. Go up here to lunch, lady. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? All right. Now, does it cost an apple to give her the glasses? I don't remember. It sure does. See, man, I'll tell you, man. You got to You got to There's not many. There is not many apples for this here. We may not, we may not have even done this correctly. Go check this out over here. Um, put gum in Lily's hair. Are you freaking kidding me right now? You followed me out here to put gum in my hair? It appears that way. That's our response. I love this. It appears that way, Lily. Unfortunately, young girls like you are destined to be ridiculed by your blonde-haired betters. Is that the way it is? Is that a sin? Just leave me alone. I have more important things to worry about than jerks like you. Walk away from Lily. I'm sorry, Lily. I feel somewhat bad about what I've done. He's still twitching on the ground over here. Hold on. You should just rest now. I love that. Every time it's so good. Did you do it? I sure did, Cindy. Well, color me impressed. You would make a, spend a splendid boyfriend take this Monster Mon card and don't be shy about talking to me tomorrow before school starts. Isn't that the beginning of a beautiful relationship with a psychopathic cannibal? All right, so we have one apple left. I don't think that there's anything that we're really going to want to do with it. So I think we're just going to go ahead and spend it here to get ourselves $3.75. And now it's straight over to recess. There is nothing special from what I know that we can do here. Oh, I wonder if Lily has anything to say after we ruin her life. Let's go find out. I know he did it. Oh, I thought maybe she would say, like, you're an asshole or something. Just look at her. She looks so miserable. Good work. <laughs> Cindy is, like, when she got hit by the car, internally now, I, like, I cheered a little bit, and I felt bad because I was like, you know, you just cheered that some poor little girl got hit by a car. 
This girl deserves it. She really does. She's such a she's such a sick sadist. All right, we're done. Let's go ahead and cash everything in over here. Get going. Monty's not here because he's he's I don't know in, in the ICU or something. Go over here to the recess for show and tell. We got a monster mon card. It really does. What happens if you show her cell phone? This is her cell phone. Is that my phone? How the heck did you get that? And how dare you steal my things? You're in kindergarten to learn how to share, not steal. Go to the principal's office. Oh, crap. So you stole your teacher's phone, apparently. Why? What's the point? It's complicated. So are my reasons for doing this. I think we know what's coming, boys. There's the 357 we all know love. <laughs> I hate you so much. It's not surprising that the teacher is upset with you for having her phone. Yeah, no kidding. All right, that's fine. Restart. All right, I just wanted to know, though. We've got to go through all the dialogue options. You boys know. Um, crap. Did we ever show this note before? What is that? Some kind of note? Your handwriting is truly awful. If I were grading that, I would give you an F. Anyway, who's next? All right. So there was nothing for the note. I couldn't remember. So I'm going to tell you, that's, that's the thing, man. All these different little dialogue options, uh, options are so good. Oh, I love them so much. Yes, wander away, children. And today, we're wandering away with the best possible resource a young man can get from school. Two new Monster Mon cards. I mean, there's only two left. We got the eye. <laughs> the eye of the butt-holder. Is that what that said? 25 times. All this game. What does it say? This is the eye of the butt-holder card. The art for this card is just a zoomed-in picture of the back of a cat. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, God. Oh, there's, you know, you can just barely make out the little pictures. Like, you see the, the kind of the cat right there? So this looks like Cthulhu or something. This is the Doom Jelly card. It goes perfectly with the Doom Peanut Butter. Mm, all right, fair enough. That means there's only two left. Two left. Uh, what do we, I don't even know what we have, man. All right, so I think what we have left is man with long arm. That's, <laughs> I don't know if the grammar is supposed to be bad or what. And then Fapton Kalkin. I'm pretty sure we haven't done Fapton Kalkin because all these ones, I distinctly remember. Distinctly remember all these ones. That has to be the last ones. All right. It's time. It's time to get those last two freaking monster mon cards. Also, I, I have to take an opportunity real quick to mention a couple of things about the, <laughs> to mention a couple of things about the comments you guys have left behind because the comments for this game are some of the best. The comments for my summer car are often hilarious as well. Someone said, Nugget's eyes are so far apart you can see a full 180 degrees. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Someone had said, who would win in a fight, Cindy or Mike Tyson? Uh, everyone apparently thought Cindy would, and I did too. I, I, Mike Tyson has bitten an ear off, but Cindy is the only child I know who has ever literally ripped a human being's head off their body with her teeth. And that's no that's no easy task, boys. If you know a little bit about anatomy, it's not like on the it's not like in the movies where you can just punch someone's head off their body. The spine is a tough thing to rip apart, especially with your teeth. Um, and someone else said, like, when she got hit by the car, after seeing what she did with the janitor, now they feel bad for the car. <laughs> oh, don't we all? Oh, Cindy, you scary whore. All right, Monty, I need something from you. We're going to need the yo-yo big time. So let's go ahead and grab that, because now we're going to need to do uh, Jerome's thing. So we got the yo-yo. What else do I want to do? Like, with my time right now, I could probably grab... I could grab the pills and then just have them for the extra dollar um, and then we'll have a couple of apples left. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to do that because it's no big deal. Uh, what happened to Billy? Oh, yeah. We just have to run through this real quick and grab our pills from the principal. It's so easy. This is all you have to do, man. You're in kindergarten. Just say that you're sad. You're sad and you get pills. Uh, we were just talking about them. Let's go ahead and force our way through this. Principal, I'm feeling sad about random things. Would you mind prescribing me pills? Because besides, you know, principal and pharmacist both start with a P. They have a lot in common. So why not? I'm out of here, my man. 
Thank you very much for the drugs. They're gonna they're gonna bring me all kinds of fat stacks of cash. Uh, everything is fine. He gave me some pills, and then but these are mine, and we can get one for a dollar and no apple, which I'm really happy about. So now we're we're done there. Let's go back over here to Jerome. Jerome, I'm gonna help you out. Well, sort of. I'm actually gonna screw you over. Uh, you can have it if you'll be my buddy. And since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. Yes. Creepy old janitor, he stole my laser pointer this morning. He said it's too bright and shiny for his old eyes. Yep, I got it, buddy. I'm your man. I can do that. Go ahead and distract the teacher. Although, you don't really need to because right now she's high as a kite. Distract her. Do it now. I, I like how when you talk to her, she's like, excuse me, I'm being distracted. Do you mind? Out of the way, Quasimodo. I got a hall pass from the freaking principal. Well, sort of. I got it from the principal's son. Same thing, though. You know, like father, like son. Out of the way, ho. Oh, you know what? We have to go into the bathroom for this. Go over here, talk to our creepy buddy, and we can give it to him here, can't we? What's in the bags? All right, maybe we have to go over here and deal with the toilets or something. Let's do this, let's do this, and let's do this. I'm trying to figure out, man, how the hell, because I know I have to get with the janitor for this. The toilet over there needs cleaning. Are you gonna clean it? All right, let's go through this. All the other ones are taken. All right, so let's get him to do that. When he's done there, yeah, 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 it's your stupid job. I know all about it. Okay, now that we're done, maybe we can talk to him again over here. This toilet is disgusting. There's no way I can use it. Oh, whoa. You can reach in here? There's a bloody shoe in this box. Should I take it? Oh, shit. I didn't know there was a bloody shoe in there. Hold on there, janitor. There, crapper's clean. Not that you'll get a chance to use it. The bell just rang. Crap! What the crap? How come? No, I didn't get it, okay? I got a bloody shoe, though. I don't know whose this is. I never even knew about this. I knew about the finger. I didn't know about the shoe. Hold on here. What happens if we show the shoe at show and tell? What does it all mean? I couldn't get it. All right, yeah, thanks for the hall pass. Um, Wieners. Well, let's see here. How do we go about doing this? I kind of want to find out what the deal with the shoe is now. You can sell the shoe? I just walked over here to Monty. You can sell the shoe? You can sell the hall pass? Oh. Five dollars for the hall pass. Huh. All right. I think we'll go ahead and make some big cash. Real quick, how about the shoe? I've got a shoe. Hey, that's Billy's shoe. Oh, God. It'll be a worthy investment if the cops ever reopen the case. I'll give you $2.50. All right, we're not going to go ahead and do that right now because I want to show this at show and tell and see what happens. All right, here we are at show and tell. We can finally mess with the shoe. Very curious about this. That's a shoe. Why are you showing us a shoe? Hey, that's my brother's shoe. Where did you find it? Oh, no, 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 Lily. We're not getting into this again. But you don't understand the principle. He, you know... If you're so obsessed with the principal, maybe you should go see him. Oh my god, I just signed Lily's death warrant. But, but I... Bye, Lily. Darn it! I'm getting closer, though. Bye, Lily. Now that nonsense has been taken care of, who wants to go next? Lily never left! She's just sitting by the door! It's a bunch of lies! Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Damn it! I was hoping something like crazy would happen with the shoe. I never knew about that though, but that's pretty cool. You can sell the shoe for another $2.50. We didn't get our damn card though. I want to get my damn card. All right, let's try it again. Oh, our piggy bank is freaking stacked with cash. All right. We're definitely on the right track. I know we were. we're I'm just going to take some random items here. Uh, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring this. And then we'll go ahead and grab a couple of bucks out of the pig. As I, Well, we need a couple of bucks no matter what. Because we have to be able to buy the freaking yo-yo. I hate that I have to buy a child's, a child's friendship with a yo-yo like every single Monday. The dialogue options are on the right. We're, we're there, man. We just got to finish it up. All right. Let me go back over here. Buy the yo-yo from Monty. We're going to get back into the bathroom. And I think that once we're in the bathroom, we're, we're, we're on the right track. I just need to continue to deal with the janitor. All right, janitor. I want that freaking monster mon card. Give it to me. All right, what's in the bag? Okay, now, I what's in the bags? Those bags. It's bleeding. All right, what's I got to do with the bleeding? How did the judgment get passed down? It's a long story, but it ends with someone on the end of a mop. Sounds riveting. It is. 
But that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. Hee <laughs> hee, me too. That's what got me into that mess in the first place. Anyway, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to tell someone of your age that story. But it's okay for me to see it. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in a bin. Righto, you sure are a chipper young sport. Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. Oh, I think that this gets us the ability to buy chocolate for five cents or something. Uh, a nickel won't cut it. What do you mean a nickel won't cut it? A nickel is going to have to cut her. I'm going to have to cut you. Chocolate is more expensive than milk. Give me more or I'm telling about the bloody bag. Oh, really? Well, then maybe we can have another bloody bag. Applegate is expecting me back. Yes. Quid pro quo, you scumbag. Let me tell you. Let me ask you a question. Is she now, he says. Well, then, I'm sure you have one of her bathroom passes. Yes, I do. Hee hee hee. You think you're so clever, don't you? You didn't get this pass from Applegate. No, these passes are only given out by the boss. You got this from the principal's boy, right? That's right. I knew it. Speaking of that little devil, I swiped his laser thingy this morning. Say, is that what this is about? You're here to get his laser thingy back? And then, this has got to be it. I don't really care. I just wanted the pass. Clever kid. You know what? I like you. You can have the silly card thing I nicked from that fat kid. From that fat kid. You must mean Batman himself, otherwise known as Bugs. Cool, thanks. Now skedaddle. We will, in fact, skedaddle. Yes. Okay. We're getting there, man. We now have the card that was fast. Did you get it? Uh, what happened? I couldn't get it. I'll bet you didn't even try. Thanks for nothing, kid. Give me my pass back. I don't give a crap about your pass. I just wanted the freaking Monster Mon card, you jerk ass. All right. Now, what other things do I want to do here? I, I feel like I want this knife real quick because I think there may be something that we could do with it. Um, can I grab this? Yeah, give me the knife. Give me the knife. There we go. Yeah. Um, all right, and that should be it. We've got a knife. I could take this. I could take this money if I wanted to, but we have so much money right now. It doesn't even matter. We need to have lunch with her. I'm pretty sure we do. So let's go ahead and chew up our last apple. There's the lunch bell. Go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. Slop. Not today, Mrs. Applegate. I want to have lunch with you. And the reason why is because I want a freaking Monster Mon card. I really don't want to see your jiggly ass. All right, yeah, the smoke break. You're an excellent teacher, Mrs. Applebottoms. I hear they come with one of those silly Monster Mon cards in them. Yes. I don't really do much else during this time. Just wait here until the bell rings. How exciting. Wow. That was great. Finally. Okay, let's go pick up your lesser classmates. <laughs> off to recess. Yes. Your lesser classmates. This game. This game is inappropriate in so many different freaking ways. I don't even know. Can we sell anything to this kid? We got the pills that we could probably sell. Um, nope, we can't sell them here. That's interesting. So you can only sell them during the other period. All right, good to know. I don't think that there's anything else we can do here. I'm just going to kind of walk around here and check with like Cindy and stuff like that. Again, you're nowhere near your freaking boyfriend. This is bull crap. And we're done. Let's go ahead and use up the rest of our apples. Blammo, $3.50. Again, I think we're totally full up on cash right now inside the big ass piggy bank. Everyone have a good recess. Now remember, let us not show the knife because we all know what happens there. Now what happens if we show these pills? A whole bottle? You must have really been up in the principal's business today, huh? Hey kid, you ever want someone to take those off your hands? I got a pretty penny for you. Hands off, Monty. I called it first. Oh man. When the, when the classroom is fighting over who gets the pills. Now that's settled. Who wants to go next? All right. That should be it. I think that we've gotten both of the monsters. I hope that these are both new. If only one of them's new, I'm going to feel like such a jackass. All right. Let's see here. We're about to find out. This is the moment of truth, boys. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. Faptin Kalkin. Oh, Faptin Kalkin. How long I've waited for your fappy powers. Share with me your fabulous, your fabulous power. What kind of uh, images do we have here? I don't know what that is. It just, I think this is long arm man. This is man with long arm card. A freak accident gave his arm incredible length, but took it from somewhere else. 
if you pick up what I'm putting down. This game, Kindergarten. The game where everything is sexually oriented, violently oriented, or in otherwise just completely inappropriate for anyone of the kindergarten age category. And now, Fapton Calgan, I can't wait to read this. I've been hoping for this for a long time. He'll show you his moves, but you probably won't want to see them. Yep. You sure? What, what is the picture? Oh, I can't really see it. It looks just like a guy wearing red, white, and blue. I kind of hope, like, his hand would be hidden in his crotch area or something. That would make total sense. All right. We got all the Monster Mon cards, but you guys had a suggestion, so there is something I do want to do over here before we finish up. All right, now supposedly some horrible things can happen over here if we mess with Cindy. Um, they said, I think someone said like, just consistently refuse her in every way. Uh, let me see here, I think I left something in the car. Why do I have to make dinner? Because I've been so busy maintaining the house and I sniff, 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 have you been drinking? No, honey, I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are, you're always so tired. I'm sure you wouldn't mind blowing into this then. I told you, I'm fine. There's that temper my mother warned me about. She was so right about you. Take your stupid flask back. You obviously care more about it than me or your unborn child. Unborn child. I, well, while you were in prison, it's probably not yours. All right. You cheated on me. I want a divorce. Um, let's try this. I want a divorce. You're right. This isn't working out. What do we do now? Go spend the night with your mother. Okay. I guess that's a fair call. Let's call you tomorrow. We can sort this out. <laughs> Amicably. <laughs> wow, that was the most fun I've had. You gotta be kidding me. You could go that way and it's still the most fun you had. I thought I thought you had to like <laughs> I thought you had to be like legitimately decent with her. We have a flask! What am I gonna do with this flask? I think I screwed that up though. Alright, I just kinda raced through the game real quick. I wanna know what the hell happens when we show the flask at show and tell. I'm very curious about this. Uh, hold on. Let me select the flask. A flask! I think I'm required by law to ask if that's filled with anything not suited for your age. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. If anyone asks, it's just water. Who's next? With some, someone with something a little less incriminating. Alright. Okay, I, th I think that's supposedly- I think if we have this knife over here. Hold on. I know it has something to do with the knife, if, and if we play house. Let's take the knife, go over here to Lily. We, we need to play house with Cindy. Stick the gum in her hair because, I don't know, she deserves it. I, I feel- I always feel so bad about this. She's like the nicest character in the entire freaking game. And we constantly torment this poor girl. Alright, she cried, yes, you're a sick hoe. You love just seeing other people miserable. Alright, now, we're, we're- it's a freaking knife fight here, boys. Alright, I hope work wasn't so hard. I think I left something in the car. Do we do right here, or- Hold on, let me see what happens here. Okay, so that does that. Okay, that stops at any time. Why do I have to make dinner? No, honey, I'm just tired. Wait, what? How about that? Don't you play dumb with me, mister. Have you been drinking? Are we going to play house? Play house? You want to play house? This is playing house. Now answer the damn question. Oh my god. I think that's the first time I've seen her curse. No, honey, I'm just tired. You're always so tired. I told you I'm fine. There's that temper my mother warned me about. Um, oh crap. Does this go into the unborn child area? You cheated on me! It was only one time I was alone! Um, crap. We can work through this? No, you filthy whore. How dare you! We are so done. No one calls me that and can be my boyfriend. Get lost. No! You took it way too far. That was too far? Now get away from me before I get really mad we're through. It was fun while it lasted. Crap! Oh my god, I think I finally figured it out. You guys have no idea how many different friggin' branching arcs I've had to go through to get to this point. I think I actually did this by accident way back in one of my first episodes. I totally forgot about it. So basically what we had to do was admit that we do have a drinking problem. Then she says, I want you to call your sponsor and tell him about it. I also want you to give me money to buy a new purse to help handle the trauma and PTSD you caused me. I'm not buying you anything, ho! You're not? You might want to reconsider that. Why? And then she pulls out her blade. You might get hurt. <laughs> Is that a knife? No, we have a knife as well. I don't have enough to buy you anything. Is that a knife? It's my pretty pink pocket knife. Now give me some money to help calm me down. I don't have enough. 
That's a shame. You showed some promise. Oh, well, are we done playing? Yep. We sure are. We just got stabbed in the face. Son of a bitch. Cindy is going to need money if she starts getting hostile. All right, now I remember all about it. Damn it, I was hoping if we had a knife, we could have gotten into a good knife fight with Cindy. But it looks like it's one-sided. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kindergarten. We've got all the cards, and now we're waiting to see that new update coming out. We can utilize our cards and find out what's going on. If you guys have any additional suggestions on arcs or things that we should do in Kindergarten, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.